Hello coders, I welcome you all. As you know, we are discussing Natural Language Processing (NLP). In the last video, we have discussed what NLP is, why it is important, where it is used, how it works, fundamental NLP concepts, and the first essential step of NLP: tokenization. Right? Now let's move on to the next part in NLP essentials: stop words removal. So now, what are stop words? Stop words are the most frequently used. words in a language such as articles prepositions conjunctions etc these words don't contribute much meaningful information to the text examples of english stop words are the a and so what etc stop words are removed to eliminate low level information from text allowing more focus on important context in other words we can say that the removal of such words does not show any negative impact on the model we train for our task removal of stop words reduces the data set size and thus reduces the training time due to fewer number of tokens involved in the training right as you can see one example is given over here original sentence a red car is parked in front of the white house as you can see after stop word removal sentence looks like this red car park front white house as you can see a is in of the are stop words which are removed after stop word removal that you can see here sentence after stop word removal that you can see over here so let's discuss these stop words with practical examples so let's jump to google colab As you know we are using Google Colab because almost all the required libraries for the data science are pre-installed including Spacy. So let's import Spacy first. Let's execute this cell. As you can see we have successfully imported Spacy library. As you may be aware we need to load a pre-trained model from Spacy using the command spacy dot load and en which is english core web and sm for small sized model so here en underscore core underscore web underscore sm is a small sized english language model provided by spacy and as you know this small sized english pre trained model of spacy is installed by default let's assign it to one variable NLP is equal to this statement. Let's execute this cell. As you can see, we have successfully loaded pre-trained model from Spacy. So in this small size English pre-trained model of Spacy, some stoppers are already defined. Let's print these stoppers as the Spacy model considers them as a stoppers. So for that, let's write print NLP dot defaults dot stop underscore words. Let's execute this cell. As you can see, the output is Python set. that you can see over here which contains stop words that you can see over here and these stop words are considered as stop words by this small sized english pre trained model this one so you can observe various stop words such as everything 20 since may us etc are considered as stop words by this small sized english pre trained model that just we have loaded over here so let's check how many stop words are there in this set to do that we can use len function of python len and this one nlp dot defaults dot stop underscore words let's execute this so you can observe that the output is 326 indicating that this particular spacy model considers these many words as a stop words 326 so suppose you want to check whether a particular word is a stop word or not so in spacy you don't need to search the set this particular set for the specific word instead you can directly check whether a particular word is a stop word using is underscore stop attribute let me show you this so for that we have to write nlp dot vocab and here let's check for the and we have to use this attribute is underscore stop let's execute this as you can see output is true indicating that the is a stop word let's take another example nlp dot vocab and let's check good and is underscore stop so we have to use this attribute is underscore stop let's execute this cell as you can see here output is false indicating that good is not considered as a stop word by this spacy model this one before moving forward let's take an example to demonstrate how we can remove stop words 
from a given text using Spacey. So as you know, we have already imported Spacey and also we have loaded this English small sized model from Spacey. So let's write one sentence. This is an example sentence with some stop words that we want to remove. Let's execute this cell. Let's give this text to our pre-trained model, this one, and let's assign it to one variable doc is equal to this statement. Let's execute this cell. As you know, this line applies the loaded spacey pre-trained model, this one, to the text in this S1, right? So now let's remove these stoppers from the list of tokens, which are created by this statement. To remove these stoppers from the list of tokens, we are going to use list comprehension. So let's write token dot text for token in doc, this one. If token dot text dot lower not in nlp dot defaults dot stop underscore words and let's assign it to one variable token underscore without underscore stop words you can use any other variable name as well let's execute this cell and let's print this variable as you can see over here tokens after stop word removal that you can see over here so here for token in doc it iterates over each token in the doc object this one this token dot text here we have used text attribute it retrieves the actual text content of each token now here if token dot text dot lower not in nlp dot defaults dot stop underscore words so it checks whether the lowercase version of the tokens text is not present in the set of default stop words provided by Spacey. So as you know, this contains default stop words provided by Spacey small sized model, right? So as you know, we have converted tokens to lowercase because as you can see here, all these stop words are in lowercase. So that's why here we have converted tokens to lowercase using this lower function. So here we are checking if the lowercase version of the token is not in the stop word set, the token is included in the list. So this way we can remove stoppers from the given text using Spacey that you can see over here. As you can see here, output after stoppers removal that you can see over here. So let's move on. So sometimes we want to consider some words as stoppers and we also need to remove certain stoppers from the Spacey vocabulary of stoppers one. So in Spacey, you have the flexibility to add or remove stoppers from the default set this one according to your specific requirements let me show you this as you know we have already imported spacey and also here we have loaded english small sized pre-trained model of spacey and just we have removed stoppers from this text right now suppose we want to consider this word example as a stopper and we want to add this word to the default list of stoppers means we want to add this example word in this particular set, which is default list of stoppers of Spacey, small size pre-trained model, right? So we can do it like this, NLP dot, as you know, NLP, which is pointing over here to our pre-trained model dot defaults dot stop underscore words. And we have to use this add method. And let's add example to the default list of stoppers. Let's execute this cell. Now let's check default list of stoppers of spacey using nlp dot defaults dot stop underscore words let's execute this cell. as you can see here we have successfully added this particular word to the default list of stoppers of spacey that you can see over here let me copy this code or stoppers renewal and let me execute this now let's check as you can see over here example word is removed because we have considered it as a stopper that you can see over here previously it was here token without stoppers as you can see over here now this example word is removed because we have added this word in the default list of stoppers of spacey here that's why this word is removed from the token without stoppers that you can see over here so this way we can add particular word to the default list of stoppers of spacey so now let's remove this stop word that we just added example this one you can also remove any other stop words from the default list in spacey here you can remove any other word as well from here from the default list in spacey but we are going to remove the stop word that we just added example so for that we have to write nlp dot as you know this nlp which is pointing to our pre-trained model dot defaults dot stop underscore words dot 
to remove and we want to remove example from the default list of stoppers let's execute this cell again let's copy this code let's execute this and let's check so you can see the example word is removed from the default list of stoppers of spacey that we have added over here let's check once again let me copy this and let me paste it over here as you can see as i said example word is removed from the default list of stoppers of spacey that you can see over here because of that here the example words displayed as token without stoppers that you can see over here so this way we can add and remove stoppers from the default list of spacey that you can see over here so please remember the changes to the nlp session will only affect this specific instance of the spacey pipeline means this add and removal of stoppers will affect this session only the original spacey pipeline remains unchanged please remember this now next please remember stoppers are not always removed the decision to remove them depends on the task and goal for example in sentiment analysis stoppers may not be removed removing them can alter the meaning of a sentence let's take one example s1 is equal to suppose here is the one course review the course was not good at all and let's apply the loaded spacey pretrain model nlp to the text in s1 and let's assign it to one variable doc is equal to this statement let's execute this cell now let's use this particular code that we just wrote to remove stoppers let's execute this cell let's check as you can see over here token without stoppers course good so here we can clearly see that the review was negative that you can see over here the course was not good at all right however after removal of stoppers the review becomes positive that you can see over here course good so the removal of stoppers can be problematic here so please remember this as i said the stoppers are not always removed the decision to remove them depends on the task and goal that you can see over here so this way we can remove stoppers from the text in an nlp task and this way we can add and remove stoppers from the default list and however you can see that stoppers are not always removed this is totally depend on the problem you are solving this is all about stoppers in spacey hope you like this video Please don't forget to subscribe this channel. If you like this video, smash that like button. Thank you very much for watching this video. Take care. Bye bye. See you in the next video.